pag-uusapan natin ngayong araw na ito ay tungkol sa polynomial at yung iba't ibang classification nito according to the number of terms. Ginawa ko ang video na ito para sa mga students na medyo nalilito pa sa concept ng polynomials. So what do we mean by the term polynomial? Ang term na ito ay hango sa salitang poly na ang ibig sabihin ay many at saka nomial na ang ibig sabihin naman ay term. Pag pinagsama natin ng dalawang salitang ito, literally, polynomial could mean many terms. So by definition, a polynomial is an algebraic expression consisting of a term or sum of terms, each of which is a number, or a product of a number, and a positive integral power of an unknown quantity. Always remember that when we speak of an algebraic expression, it is an expression that contains numbers, letters or variables, and operation symbols. Well, yung term naman means a combination of numbers or variables written as a product or a quotient. Pag sinabi naman natin unknown quantity, yung ibig sabihin niyan ay yung variable. So a variable is a letter or a symbol that is used to represent any value in an algebraic expression. Pag sinabi naman nating integral power, ibig sabihin niyan ay dapat yung power niya o yung exponent niya ay whole number. What are examples of polynomials? Itong expression na makikita nyo, which is uh, read as x squared plus 5x plus 6 ay isang halimbawa ng polynomial expression. Another example is 7y minus 11. Two-thirds m squared plus 4 and negative 11x squared y plus 7xy squared plus 1. These four examples are polynomial expressions Kasi pasok siya sa definition natin ng polynomial. There are also expressions that are not polynomials. Ang tanong ay paano nga ba natin malalaman kung yung given expression is not a polynomial? So let's have an example. The expression x raised to negative 2 plus 7x minus 4. Makikita natin na yung exponent ng first term ay negative 2. So, base sa definition ng polynomial, dapat na yung exponent daw ay positive integral power. So, if a term of a given expression has a negative exponent, hindi siya polynomial. Another example is 3x raised to 1 half plus 4. This expression is also not a polynomial because a term has a fractional exponent, which is 1 half. The next expression, which is 4 raised to x plus 5, is also not a polynomial because the exponent is a variable. Lagi lang natin babalikan yung definition ng polynomial para malaman natin kung yung given expression is a polynomial or not. Another example, which is 5 times the square root of y minus 9, is also not a polynomial expression. Because a variable is under the radical sign. Makikita natin dito, yung variable na y ay nasa loob ng radical sign. Isa ito sa mga palatandaan para malaman natin na yung expression ay hindi polynomial. And our last example is the expression 2x plus 1 all over x plus 2. This expression is also not a polynomial expression because there is a variable in the denominator. Always remember that if a term has a negative exponent, a term has a fractional exponent, if a term has an exponent which is a variable, if a variable is under the radical sign, and if there is a variable in the denominator, the given expression is not a polynomial. Polynomial expressions can be classified according to the number of terms. May mga polynomial expression na isang term lang o yung tinatawag nating monomial from the word mono which means one. Mayroon ding mga polynomial expression that is composed of two terms 
o yung tinatawag nating binomial from the word bi which means two. At may mga polynomial expression naman that is composed of three terms o yung tinatawag nating trinomial from the word tri which means three. Yung monomial, binomial, at saka trinomial are special names of polynomial. There are also polynomials consisting of four or more terms. Pag yung isang expression ay mayroong four or more terms, we simply call it polynomial. This time, let us try to classify if the given expression is a monomial, binomial, trinomial, or a polynomial. At hanapin na rin natin yung mga terms ng given expression. For example, the given expression is 5x cubed y squared. Ano sa tingin nyo yung tawag sa expression na ito? Yes, it is a monomial expression because it has only one term. Yung term niya ay 5x cubed y squared. Another expression is 1 third z cubed plus 2z minus 3. The expression is a trinomial expression because it has three terms. Again, yung terms in a given expression is separated by either addition or subtraction symbol. So, ano-ano yung mga terms ng given trinomial expression? First is we have the one-third z cube. Another term is 2z. And the last one is the constant negative 3. Next example is 15y raised to 6 plus 7. The expression is a binomial because it has only two terms. The terms are 15y raised to 6 and 7. Next example is negative 4x raised to 5 plus 7x raised to 3 minus 3x minus 2. We simply call the expression a polynomial. Hindi natin pwedeng i-classify as trinomial yung given expression because the number of terms is more than 3. So ang tawag natin sa expression na ito ay simply polynomial. What are the terms of the given expression? First is we have the negative 4x raised to 5. Another is 7x raised to 3. The third one is negative 3x and the last would be the constant negative 2. Our last example is the expression 2x squared plus x all over x. Sinabi natin kanina na if the expression has a variable in the denominator, the expression is not a polynomial. So at first, masasabi natin na, na ang expression na ito ay hindi polynomial. Pero by looking at the expression, we can do a little bit of mathematics to make this expression a polynomial. Observe that in the numerator, yung term na 2x squared at saka yung term na x ay may common factor. Yung common factor nila ay x, so we can rewrite the expression as x times the quantity of 2x plus 1. Now, if we distribute x to 2x and x to positive 1, babalik ka sa expression na 2x squared plus x. This time, we can get rid of x in the numerator and x in the denominator to make the expression equal to 2x plus 1. Ang bagong expression na natin ngayon ay 2x plus 1. And obviously, the expression is a binomial because it has two terms. So the terms are 2x and the constant 1. Kung nagustuhan mo ang video na ito ay mag-like at mag-subscribe at pwede mo rin i-click yung notification bell para lagi kang updated sa mga next math kwentuhan natin. Thank you guys and see you in